In part 1 of this video, we took the equation the square root of 3x plus 9 minus the square root of x plus 4 equals negative 1, and we solved the equation by first getting a radical alone and squaring both sides. That left us with another radical, so we got it alone and squared both sides, and that gave us an equation we could finally solve to get our final solutions of x equals 0 and x equals negative 3. However, at the end of that first part of this video, we also remembered that because we're dealing with square roots or an even index on the root, we need to make sure we check these answers because one or both of the answers may be a false or extraneous solution. And so what I've done down here, if I scroll down, underneath my two solutions of x equals 0 and x equals negative 3 is I've copied the problem. And we're going to plug these answers in and see if they actually work as we're checking these answers. So let's first check the x equals 0. It means we're going to plug 0 in for each of these x's. So we have the square root of 3x, or 3 times 0, plus 9, minus the square root of x, or 0, plus 4, equals negative 1. Well, this is nice because 3 times 0 is just 0. And 0 here is just 0, so simplifying a bit, we have the square root of 9 minus the square root of 4, and we hope that's equal to the negative 1. Well, the square root of 9 is 3, minus the square root of 4 is 2, and we hope that's equal to negative 1, but what we find out is if we do 3 minus 2, we get 1. Is 1 equal to negative 1? No, it's not. 1 is not equal to negative 1, which means our solution of x equals 0 is an extraneous solution or a false solution. While it works about halfway down the work that we put in, it does not work in the original problem that we were trying to solve. So we have to throw that one out. Let's get rid of all this work here. That was all no good. Let's try the negative 3 and see if we have better luck with negative 3. We have the square root of 3x, or 3 times negative 3, plus 9, minus the square root of x, or negative 3, plus 4. Hopefully, that will equal negative 1. Let's start working it out by multiplying. Gives us the square root of negative 9, plus 9, minus the square root of negative 3, plus 4. Hopefully, that'll equal negative 1. Negative 9 and 9 is 0 minus the square root of negative 3 and 4 is 1. Hopefully, that'll equal negative 1. Square root of 0 is 0, minus the square root of 1 is 1. Hopefully, that's negative 1. And sure enough, when we actually subtract 0 minus 1, we get negative 1. It works. It did give us a true solution. And so, our only solution for this equation is x equals negative 3. The solution to the square root of 3x plus 9 minus the square root of x plus 4 equals negative 1. Again, the way we found that solution, we know we must first get one square root alone and focus on that one square root. The opposite of a square root is to square, so we squared both sides. But that left us with a square root. So we did it again. We got the square root alone and squared both sides, which is the opposite of a square root, and that gave us an equation with no square roots. Get the square root alone and square both sides. Then we were able to solve that equation and check our solutions. Remember, even roots, you must always check. And we found out the only solution that worked was negative 3.